Well, good morning and welcome to Zen Live and Ideas That Can Change Your Life. And uh, got my timer going for 20 minutes. And you are the world, and the world is you. But then uh, we're all the world, and we're all the world is me. I am the world. The world is me. You are the world. The world is you. So each of us is the center of the world. So I speak to you from my center to your center. And good morning on this Labor Day. I am uh, really had an interesting morning. I wake up early. I wake up at 5 and I have a timer. I meditate for an hour. And this morning uh, uh, the meditation was really deep. I was meditating on the Bodhisattva vow, but I don't want to get into that. But anyway, it was just a deep, and my timer, the battery ran out. So I was, I meditated for two hours, just, and, uh, and I was really just uh, full of sunlight this morning, because the sun comes up. I face the east window. I have some African violets there. My mother always said African violets like the east sun, eastern sun the rising sun. So I was looking in my room and I went over, I saw something over in the corner on a little shelf and I went over there and it was the ID card from the ashram in Miami of Swami Muktananda where I went I think in 1978 and this was my ID card, and the name on it is Prabhakar. And I realized my name is Prabhakar. This was the name uh, my guru gave me. Everybody, when you get into a yoga or a spiritual tradition or religion, you often get a name. You often get a spiritual name. And so my name is Prabhakar. And I looked it up, and it means giver of light, Prabha, light, light giver. My name is Prabhakar. So, well, I'll just, well, I don't want to miss, I'll put it, keep it right here, right here. Okay, so anyway, so this has just been giving light to me all morning. My name is Prabhakar. So what is a spiritual name? What is a name? Well, if somebody calls your name, hey, Ed, you turn and look. Nobody calls me Prabhakar. Hey, Prabhakar, nobody has ever called me Prabhakar. I think maybe when I was in the ashram, because my name was on here, people would call me Prabhakar. But out in the world, nobody knows Prabhakar. I've forgotten Prabhakar. <laughs> my family doesn't call me Prabhakar. When I write, I don't write Prabhakar. Who is Prabhakar? And yet, here he is. And it says on the back, Conley Edwin Prabhakar, Miami. I didn't know I had a beard. I thought I was growing a little goatee and a little beard for the first time. Here I am, I got a beard. I had no memory of that. So let me share my experience with light and Prabhakar. So I had been divorced we were living in northern Ohio, Cleveland. I was driving a milk truck, delivering milk. Still in relationship with my wife and family. Uh, you know, I'd go over and take care of the house and the kids or whatever. So it, was a, it wasn't a, uh, a wounded divorce. But we were divorced and I was driving a milk truck. And Swami Muktananda had gone to Miami rented or bought, I don't know what he did, but they took over a hotel on South Beach. And like Jehovah's Witnesses, all these carpenters and everybody went down there and they turned this hotel into a palace, right on the street, opened it up to the drunks and the drug addicts of South Beach, which is what Miami South Beach was like then. A palace on the Skid Row. So I wanted to go. So I told my, uh, I don't know, I may have quit the milk truck. <laughs> I wanted to go. And I think, I don't know if I quit or whether I just uh, took the leave. 
I think I just said I'm going. And uh, he may have given me my job back when I returned. I don't remember. But I just went. So I went by the house to check on the kids, make sure they got to school. My wife was teaching. My ex-wife was teaching. Or she was working at an institute for retarded. And so uh, my son goes to school, and my, and, uh, and, uh, my daughter, who was about 10 then, said, I want to go with you, Daddy. I want no, you can't go, you can't go. Uh, so I think they went to school. They had to walk down to catch the bus. Got in the car, took off, heard this little stirring in the back, stopped. My daughter was buried in the back seat of the car. She was going to Miami. Oh, God. So I turned around and went back, and school had already started now. I called up my wife and said, look, this kid, this, uh, she really wants to go. So I, had, I was going down there. I didn't know how long I was going to stay. But now I'll bring her back in a few days. So we left. And it was like two kids escaping the castle. It was like yelling out the window. It was like, uh, I don't know, it was just, I just remember the, the, me and my, my daughter driving down there just, just screaming and happy and yelling out the window. Just two kids. Freedom. So I, we went down there. And, I, you know, ashram, a, a, a city yoga ashram, is a disciplined place. I mean, you got to get up and meditate in the morning. Uh, you got to do. Uh, you got to go a morning program and chant a and chant a hint, uh, Sanskrit scripture. The Guru Gita takes a whole hour, so you're chanting for an hour. Then you do seva work, clean up the toilets, and then you have lunch, and then you have a a noon meditation for a half hour, and then or then you have lunch, and then you have seva. You do some more work. And then you have the evening program, and then you have evening meditation, and then you go to sleep. It's, it's the ashram discipline. You leave your shoes at the door. You put on your name. I'm Prabhakar. And if I look back at my pictures, I was so happy then. I didn't know I had been, I didn't know I was so happy back then, you know. So anyway, my daughter takes to this like a duck. A duck to a lake full of ducks. I mean, she just dove in, went to the chanting, and just was just at home, swimming in this energy, you see. And I was at home. I knew my name. People knew my name. Prabhakar. Hello, Prabhakar. How are you today, Prabhakar? Nobody had ever spoken my name before. Nobody knew my name. Hi, Prabhakar. Who is Prabhakar? Oh, I'm Prabhakar. <laughs> so anyway, Prabhakar means giver of light. Prabha. I looked it up on Winnie Picks. Winnie Picks. I looked it up on Google. Prabha means giver of light. I thought maybe I would be some kind of a Hindu god or something. No, it's just giver of light. <laughs> I didn't get a name like Krishna or something like that, you see. But anyway, Giver of light. Sura, the sun god, is my father. The sun god is my father. Oh, the sun god is my father. Wow. My father was an Annapolis graduate. He graduated in 1929. And when an officer is dressed in his dress outfit, Gold drips off the brim of his hat, off his shoulders and his epaulets, off the, off the hilt of his sword. It even drips off the buttons. Gold drips off the naval officer. And my father said, and I've told you this before, but my father said that when a naval, the senior naval officer on a ship in a foreign port is the direct representative of the president. That senior officer is the United States, is the personification of the United, is the emissary of the president, who is the emissary of the nation. So that's kind of like Prabhakar. 
whose father is the sun, the giver of light, the giver of light. I like that. And I've always remembered and honored my father, and I have his sword hanging up in there, because that metaphor just always uh, uh, resonated with me. And because uh, my father and I, well, I want to get into that. I've been in there before. I will pick that up another day. But anyway, we're talking about Prabhakar, and we're talking about the ashram in Miami in the late 70s. That was a transformative event in my life. So let me share that with you. So it's time to go. We only stayed down there four days, I think. And it was time to go. I had to get my daughter back to school. And there was a noon meditation where you go in there and they chant and you just sit for 30 minutes and they chant Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. And that was my mantra. Everybody had that mantra, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. And I was meditating there. Suddenly, the space opened up and this light, luminous light, was way surrounding here. And my ego, my little Ed Conley, Ed Conley, you know, that's my name, Ed Conley. Ed Conley was right there in front of me like a little worm on a hook. And Ed Conley was saying, I'm going to die. And then Ed Conley, as if the sun pulled him up, pulled this fish up by a hook, just pulled Ed Conley up into this light. And there was just this light. And then Ed Conley came back down, kind of like a moth having been burnt by the fire, and said, oh, that's what death is like. And then the meditation was over. And I was in this, it wasn't a state. It was a way, it was suddenly, a, I, I was infinite peace. I was okay. The world was okay. The world was okay and I was, there wasn't a bit of conflict or a rub anywhere in sight. There were no boundaries. All was light, you see. All was light. And so I went home and I knew in my heart that I would get remarried with my wife and return to my family. And so we got remarried in the ashram in South Fallsburg. Prabha, and my wife's name in the ashram was Bhakti. So Prabhakar and Bhakti got married, you see. And so then I came to Virginia, where nobody knows my name. And I came here in 1981, and nobody knew my name, Prabhakar. So I put Prabhakar on the back shelf in my room like an artifact of some past life. Like an era, I've been writing about the arrowheads of the John Wells Museum. And like an arrowhead of some previous culture, some bygone civilization. Prabhakar. He was buried there, the giver of light. So this morning I dug him up. <laughs> I dug him up and I said, my name is Prabhakar and I don't give a damn. <laughs> I'll call, if I call my name, then Prabhakar will come up and give some light. If you call my name, then I'll give light to you. But to have, see, this is the secret of the, of the name. If you don't name something, it doesn't exist. If I don't name this coffee, coffee, it doesn't exist. I mean, this liquid exists, but it, I don't know what it is. It has no, oh, that's good coffee. I just named it. I named. I could say, well, it's bad coffee, 
but coffee brings up coffee and all my experiences with coffee. The whole history of coffee is in the name coffee. The t my good coffees, my bad coffees. If I say, oh, this is good coffee, what am I doing? I'm comparing this to the whole history of all the coffees I've ever known. Every coffee I've known is being recalled with the name coffee. So coffee comes up. So your name. So what is my name? Ed Conley. Where did that name come from? My parents gave it to me. I'm a junior. Edwin Gus Conley. My father's name was Edwin Gus Conley. I don't, Conley is Irish, so he got it from his Conleys. Goes back into Ireland, Ireland in the depths of the Irish history. The Conleys go back like rings on the redwood tree, back to the beginning of time. And so each one of these names, you see, were named to be in history. We we're given a historical name. We're given a name that has a lineage. We give a name that calls us up in all the history of Connolly's and my father and my childhood and all the experiences of coffee. I mean, all the experiences of my life are called up with this name, Ed Connolly. So when somebody says, hey, Ed, I turn, yes. Who turns? This historical person turns with all my personalities, my neuroses, my pains, my, my fears, my death. Buddha looked at this name and said, when he went into, the, when he licked, went into town and he saw old age, sickness, and death, he says, ah, that is the name of the historical person. When you're given your name, you're given the name of old age, sickness, and death. So Ed Connolly will get old. Well, I'm 80 years old now. Ed Connolly will get old. I'm not sick yet, but I'll die. So Ed Connolly will die. But Prabhakar, but the sun, but the giver of light, but the son of the sun is timeless. Light is timeless. Light gives light. That's a timeless name. So when you call your timeless name, you're, you are free from old age, sickness, and death. You see how that works? We have two names. We have our historical name. It gets old, sick, and dies. Full of fear, worry, suffering. But our timeless name, when that is called, you rise up in light and your old historical name like a worm on a hook is pulled up into that light and it says I'm gonna die and it does and it comes back and says oh ha, that's what death was like <laughs> you see the light of laughter in the face of death your historical name it's just a worm. Let it go into the cocoon. Let it come out a butterfly. The worm, the caterpillar, has no idea what a butterfly is. By faith, it goes into that cocoon, into that dark night. And by faith, it comes out a butterfly with wings of light. And it might even have eyes on the wings. The butterfly of light, you see. Flowers with wings. Prabhakar, the giver of light. So that name is buried within you. I was lucky because I had a guru who gave me that name. So you really have to, if no one has given you that name, I'll give you that name. <laughs> you can give yourself a name. Find a name. Your secret name. Call it up. Sit in meditation. Call your, call your giver of light up. Call your spiritual name up. Call it and it will come. Give yourself a name if no one gives you a spiritual name. Don't wait. Life's too short. Call up your light. Give it a name. If, it, if you give it a name, it will come. It has to come. So Prabhakar. 
That's my name. Prabhakar, with an exclamation mark. I feel good. So, have a great cup of coffee and I'll see you this evening.